Hi, hello and welcome to another video by Are We There Yet? The YouTube channel. Today we are coming at you from Kuliang Mountain. Kuliang Mountain is a scenic area in Fuzhou, the capital of Fujian. This area is located 13 kilometers from downtown Fuzhou in a town called Huangxi. And it sits at an altitude of a thousand plus meters above sea level. Kuliang was and still is predominantly a summer resort area since it never really gets over 30 degrees Celsius in summer in the mountains. It was established by Western missionaries in 1886 and by 1935 there were more than 366 villas of different styles. About 10 of those original houses are still standing today. There were also several churches, some hospitals, tennis courts, swimming pools, public wells, public welfare halls, and other public buildings. Guling, uh, this mountain, was known in the past as Kuliang Mountain. And this particular fact will be important to an interesting story of friendship between two countries that I want to share with you today. What made Kuliang unique was that for several decades, even centuries, this cool and windy mountain was where local foreigners missionaries and consular staff and even foreign company staffs from Fuzhou and other nearby cities like Xiamen used to spend their summers here in order to get away from the heat in the city. One of those foreigners was Milton Gardner, an American professor of physics from the University of California, who spent 10 years of his childhood here in Kuliang Mountain back in 1901 when his parents decided to move to Fuzhou to live. The family went back to California in 1911 and through his life Mr. Gardner's lifelong dream was to revisit the mountains and the forest of his childhood hometown here in China. Unfortunately he was never able to realize that dream. Some say that his last words in this world were Kuliang Kuliang. Now, Mrs. Gardner attempted to fulfill the dying wish of her husband by traveling to China several times. However, she had no idea where Kuliang Mountain was. One day, back in America, as she was going through her husband's memorabilia, her cherished remembrances, she found 11 faded stamps that had been sent from Ku Liang's post office right here. So, with the help of a Chinese student, Mrs. Gardner finally figured out that Ku Liang had been changed to Gu Ling in today's China. The story of Mr. Gardner's family and their love for Kuliang was published on a local newspaper in the spring of 1992. Xi Jinping, who was the Fuzhou secretary of the CPC at the time, read the article and was moved and touched by it. So he invited Mrs. Gardner to visit Kuliang. When she arrived from San Francisco into Fuzhou later that year, Xi Jinping expressed to her how he had been moved and touched by Mr. Gardner's attachment and love for Kuliang and Fuzhou, even until his dying moment. He accompanied Mrs. Gardner to visit the place that her late husband had always missed. Xi Jinping expressed his hope to renew the friendship between China and America. I feel privileged to see with my own eyes the beautiful place that meant so much to Mr. Gardner and his family. Walking around here, driving, riding my bicycle through these mountain roads and paths, seeing all the planted trees, particularly Cryptomeria, which is local. We also visited the amazing cloud factory 
that is constantly pushing fog up to the top of the mountain, it is really easy to imagine what life was like back then. The swimming pool, the bookstore where I am right now, the Photoshop, the old Kuliang Street, Mr. Gardner's house, and some of the water wells that are still used today. They have all been preserved in an effort to perpetuate his and the locals' love of Kuliang Mountain. Kuliang is visited daily by locals and tourists. Some of them are veers like us. However, there is a marked increase in traffic over the weekends and during national holidays. I'm happy to see so many cyclists, so many hikers, even so many motorcyclists, which I love, taking to these winding roads and trails to enjoy the free time. It is said that drinking tea is Fujo's number one leisure activity, and we can confirm this. However, as you have seen, I drink a lot of coffee. But there are many places around here where people just sit and enjoy the views, enjoy the scenery. They enjoy the passing clouds or the sunsets as they just chat with their friends and sip a warm cup of tea. But for me, coffee it is. It truly is an ideal place for this. We have surely loved our time here since, well, you may or may not know, due to COVID, we ended up staying here for a whole month, more or less. We are staying at a place called Hopulo RV Park, which I must say is a very well managed and very well set up RV spot. So shout out to them over here. Now, for those of you who are interested in RV life in China, I would like to take a moment to then share with you some of the costs and some of the realities and the setups that we have here in Kuliang Mountain. We are currently paying 300 yuan a month for parking both our car and the RV trailer. And we are able to recharge our 960 milliampere batteries and refill our 150 liter water tanks by simply buying some time from our pedestal. All we need to do is scan the QR code with our phones and pay using WeChat. At the moment, 24 hours of service cost 36 yuan, but we often buy only four or eight hours every two or three days since we get lots of sun. So yeah, if you consider the environment here, this is a very affordable place to be at 900 RMB a month. But yes, this COVID situation that has sparked recently in China has limited the amount of content that we can produce. We go to a place and most of them are closed because of that. So we apologize for this. However, most certainly we cannot complain. The beauty of these mountains, the beauty of these trees and this forest is something that you have got to see whenever you come to Fujian. So, welcome to visit. All right, friends, I hope that you enjoyed this video and you know what to do. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content of our channel, then make sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you do that, don't forget to hit the bell button to be notified whenever there is a new video out. And if you want to support the work that we do, make sure to hit the link in the description down below to buy us a cup of coffee or a bowl of noodles. If you're in China, you can use a QR code on the screen to do so. And until we see you again, take it easy and bye for now.